Hi there, it's Kelly here and today I'll be teaching you how to set up your Sumni V2S. What I have with me here is the Sumni V2S device. Of course, if you're new to this device, don't worry because this video will actually cover everything you need to know to set up EasyStore on this Sumni V2S device. Alright, I'm going to be explaining what each of these buttons is for. So I'm going to start with actually the power button first. This is the small button right here. So if you were to click onto it, it will actually activate the machine to start. Alright, so it says the device is starting and I'm going to let it just load for a bit. Alright, so with that, we've started the machine. So the button below the power button is actually the volume button. So let's say you want to make it louder, you can do that here or even softer. Okay, so soft and then louder. Alright, so you can even mute it if you click on that bell icon over there. Alright, so moving on to the next button, which is this orange button you see here, and there's another orange button here. What this does is, if you were to click onto it, it will actually activate this barcode sensor right here. Alright, so this is actually the barcode sensor, so if you actually click on that, either, either any of these orange button, it will actually... As you can see, either it will actually activate this barcode scanner. So you can actually scan barcode of your items here and things like that. Alright, so next to the scanner, there is actually a rear camera. So you can actually use this to take photos or you know scan 1D or 2D barcode readers. So in terms of this one, this is called the Pogo pin. So this is where you can actually connect a barcode scanning accessory. So let's say you have another handheld barcode scanner, you can actually attach it right here. Right? So let's try to actually remove this back part and I'm going to show you how it looks like inside. What you need to do is just push it a little and then it will just open. Right, so this is the nano SIM card slot and this is the PSAM card slot which is optional and this is the micro SD card slot or nano SIM card slot again. So um, depends on whether you want to put in a SIM card, you can actually put it right here and um, for easy store you actually don't really need to have a SIM card so I'm going to close it back. Right. Right, so just now we have already covered all these buttons here and this one is for the scanner. So what we have here below the left scanner is actually the USB charging port. So this is a USB-C charger that you use to charge this Sumni V2S device that will come together with the box. So moving on to the front section here, as you can see, this is actually the NFC card reader. So this actually allows your customers to, you know, scan and use their NFC payment methods. So if I were to actually pull this lever, this is where you can actually put in your thermal paper right here. Right, so the direction, the correct direction to put in your thermal paper is like that. So when you put in, the direction of your thermal paper is the same as you know the device right here, the curve. Alright, so if it's okay, we're gonna click that down and you're gonna hear a click. Alright, so with that, we have changed the thermal paper. What you wanna do is also to tear this excess apart. So how you can connect your Wi-Fi is to click on settings and then go to network and then choose Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is already connected so I'm just going to um, leave it as it is choose your internet, key in the password and then you'll be done, right? So the next thing I need to do is to install Easy Store all I need to do is just click on this App Store top right corner you see a search icon, let's click on that and then we're going to type in Easy Store and then we're going to click on that search button here. Alright, so as you can see, Easy Store has already appeared. Um, I already installed this into my device. So if you haven't, it will actually just say install and you want to install it, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back home. So actually, once you have installed what it looks like, it's going to be something like that. So Easy Store is already on your um, apps panel right here. Alright, so what you want to do now is click on the Easy Store app. And with that, you can actually access, you know, the point of sale system from here. As you can see, POS, let's click on that. Okay, then we're going to click on view point of sale system. Alright, so with that, we have already set up our POS system here on the Sumni V2S device. So as you can see, it says online here right now. I'm going to do a short explanation here on how this interface works. In terms of the top left corner right here, we see that three dot button. Then you're going to see orders, customers, and shift. So orders refers to all the customers that you got from this POS order. So if we go to go back, click back on that, we can look for customers here. So you can actually search for your customer information here if needed. Alright. 
and then in terms of shift this is where you can actually start every shift so for example if you're a business owner and you want to monitor your cash flow what you can do is ask your employees to key in a cash in or cash out amount or even close the shift um, so that they can actually produce a sales report right here sales summary right here for you to actually oversee um, all your payments and how the transactions were made right so let's click on to the back so in terms of location here if you have multiple locations you want to make sure that you are at the right location i'm just going to keep it to puchong as it is as you can see it will sink for a bit before it becomes um, connected again all right okay so i'm going to move on to the next feature here it's the bar barcode icon here so you can actually use the scanner of this device or if you have connected it to another external scanner you can actually use it here as well all right so in terms of this last icon right here this is where you can actually customize the quick actions right here personalized quick actions so for example i feel that this test one is like you know i don't want it here i can just click it on the x on the side here or if i want to add an action i can just click on that and there are actually three different types of quick actions you can put here so the first one is the collections the second one is the products and the third one is the discounts all right so of course uh, if you have any specific collections that you have preset which are like product categories so for instance your best sellers or you know clearance sale collection things like that you can actually set a button for that collection right here lah. so if i were to scroll down this is actually where all your items are at so for example i feel like all right i want this tote bag and this free ampau for example i'm going to click on total charge and what i can do here is to add a customer okay so let's say you have a new customer in store and you want to collect their database you can actually use this feature to actually ask your customers for their details so that you can tar retarget them in the future so you just need their first name last name email and phone number and you can even send invitation via sms so of course if the customer that's making this purchase is an existing customer what you can do is just click on add existing customer and it will lead you to your customer base where you can actually click on the customer for example and then it will actually appear here right so you've got to move down uh, if there are any vouchers that they can use you can actually just click on add voucher for example new member voucher preset vouchers that you have made earlier you can actually um, activate them here or if they are your members and have accumulated loyalty points at your store you can also click on this use point button to actually convert their points into monetary discounts so for example it says 100 points i'm going to use 100 points all right and i'm click on confirm all right so as you can see here there will be a one ringgit deduction for the points that i have just installed Let, so let's say it's not convenient for your customer to pay now you know they have something running up and they will be coming back later to make their payment if i want to save everything that i've set here what i need to do is just click on this bookmark icon and then click on save current card so as you can see everything that i have just set has been um, refreshed but actually it's all in this bookmark icon so if i were to click back onto it and i click back onto the card that i've just created everything will be back again so of course if the customer you know decides that they don't want to make this purchase you can just click on this dustbin icon right here and delete this whole checkout um, page right so if everything is okay i'm going to click on total charge and here is where actually all your payment methods will appear so, okay so if it's cash payment you can just click on cash payment and insert the amount that you have received i'm going to click on print receipt and i'm going to click on mark as paid all right so you can see i have a receipt right here that is printed all right so you can actually customize your logo your name so let's say your customers don't want um, paper receipt and they prefer e-receipt you can also do that right here right, so let's say if you want to reprint the receipt again you can just click on print receipt or if your customers want an e-receipt what you can do is you can click on email receipt key in their email here click on send and they'll be able to receive the e-receipt via their email all right so if you know this is connected to a cash drawer and you want to reopen the cash drawer you can open that here or you can even send them a thank you voucher purchase things like that like you know 10 ringgit off your next purchase thank you for your purchase so if you want to send any special voucher to them you can also click that here so let's say this order has been completed you can actually just click on back and then you are back to this interface again all right so that's all about setting the summary v2s device so there's another thing that i want to add on is that you can actually customize the logo and the name of this receipt right here so i'm going to teach you how you can do it right all right so now i'll be teaching you how to customize your receipt settings in easy store 
Right, so once we open the Easy Store app, what we want to do is click on the bottom left corner here, the three lines, and then we want to look for settings. Right, so once we're at the settings page, let's scroll all the way down, and then you'll see this um, title called Receipt Settings. Configure your POS receipt and printer setup. Let's click on that. Alright, so as you can see, I have a printer configured here. So let's say if I were to forget my connection, this is how it will look like on your end when you first come to this page, alright? Then I'm going to click on connect to printer. And then we're going to click on this refresh button on the top right corner. And then we can click on connect to send me. And it will say connected at the bottom right here. So okay, once that's done, let's just click on the back button. And there, we have this um, connection now, alright? So let's scroll all the way down, then you will see some of the printer settings here. So in terms of how many receipts you want to print per checkout, which is this print quantity per checkout right here. So you can change that. So let's say you want to have by default one or two or three receipts, you can set that here. In terms of the paper width, this is depending on type of machine that you are using. Because we are using Somni V2S, so we can use this 58mm, right? In terms of the chunk size, you can just leave it as it is. And then there are two options here. One is to automatically print after checkout. And the second one is to automatically open cash drawer after checkout. So if you feel like this setting is um, suitable for you, is something that you want to use, then you can activate them here. If not, you can just untick the blue ticks. Alright, so let's move down a bit. Custom receipt header. Alright, so as you can see here, you can actually insert the image that appears at the top of the receipt, which is the one that um, you saw earlier in the previous receipt. So let's say if I were to click on this X button, then you would actually be able to add your image here. And then of course, you have to save that image here. Lah. Then if you want to display this as header image, you can uh, take that. And then in terms of the text, this is the title of the receipt that appears. So for example, you can just put in your store name. Okay, so in the next section we go to is this custom receipt footer. So again, you can put another image here and then you can set whether you want to display this footer image or not in the receipt. And you can even include a text here. So what I would recommend you to put here is, let's say, a call to action or a sales reminder and things like that. You want to link them back and maybe ask them to check, you know, their uh, membership status or even um, any updates that you have on your website that is exclusive lah, online, okay? Alright, moving on to the last section, you'll see there's this option um, settings right here. If you want to display your store information in terms of your address, email and phone number, you can take that over here. In terms of the order information, you can also choose what info you want to appear on the receipt. For instance, the date, um, the order number, the staff name or any additional order note and even any um, shipping or pickup details that you want to include, uh, you can also enable them here, alright? So in terms of this product information, you can also include the details of the product in terms of their SKU, their barcode or unit price. Okay, and lastly, in terms of the customer information, you can actually decide whether you want to display the customer information and also their credit balance. So this is also information that might be helpful for you to look back if you want to, you know, refer back to the receipt for future accounting purposes. Lah. Right, once everything is set up, you can actually click on preview receipt first. For instance, let's click on preview receipt. As you can see, the logo is here. The title that we have put is Store Bazaar. And if we scroll down, we include, you know, the product titles, the product SKUs, and also the price and everything and if, so if you scroll down you can see the subtotal here and then also the customers will be able to see how much credit balance that they have and also any customer remark that we added here and also then you can see the the footer section here shop on our website for exclusive discount so everything you can actually customize here the way you want and okay with that let's click on save and we have actually successfully customized our receipt settings in our Somni v2s device